As a young professional, I really was intrigued on how a chemical plant evolved from a very basic idea on paper all the way to a rigorous engineering design passing through construction all the way to operation. All these sounded great, but in reality, I had my doubts. For example, who decided to build this process? Why are we using this technology? Who was the EPC company in charge of the construction? Which engineers are actually in charge of the operation? And more into the economics, how are CAPEX and OPEX involved in the project planning? And of course, many other questions. So that's why I created this course, to help both young engineers getting started in the chemical industry, but also experienced professionals willing to master these steps in the chemical process life cycle. All these to empower them with the knowledge and tools required to understand and optimize the stages in the chemical life cycle. Welcome aboard, my name is Emmanuel Ortega and I'll be your instructor throughout this course. First, it's going to be a self-paced course, you can access it from everywhere, whenever you like. Second, I've included numerous exercises, tasks and projects throughout the course that will make your learning interactive and dynamic. Not only that, we're going to encounter evaluations and of course, certificates of completion. If you're like me, you love the downloadable material. Slideshows from the presentations, eBooks, companion book, glossary, diagrams, PDF files, Q&A section, and much more. But what about the content? We're going to get started with a very brief introduction to chemical plant, chemical processes, what are their main differences, and of course, a case study, the fertilizer plant. All this for you to understand the chemical process life cycle. Then we continue with feasibility and conceptual design. As the name implies, these are the very first steps to get started with the chemical project. Next, we're going to learn about basic engineering and detailed engineering design. One of the top sections for chemical and process engineers. Next, we continue with EPC, construction, commissioning, and startup. Then we continue with operation and maintenance, which are by far one of the longest stages to encounter in the chemical life cycle. We then talk about optimization, the bottlenecking, and of course, revamp of our process. Then we talk about turnarounds, shifting all the way to unplanned shutdowns, all the way to the commissioning. That is the last step of the life cycle, ending our chemical plant operations. And by the end of this course, you'll have the knowledge to confidently oversee and optimize a chemical process. From its conception all the way to its closure, ensuring that all the process stages are safe, environmental friendly, responsible with the community, using the latest technologies, and of course, cost effective and very high in profitability. Are you ready to unlock your full potential and make an impact in your professional career? Enroll now and I'll see you in class.